Candace Dickinson for Bedfest. It's a poem I wrote for my husband, Stephen Taft, my caregiver for two-thirds of our marriage. And also it's in honor of all caregivers. Um, you take this M.E. monster molested woman to be your wedded wife. Day after day, tiptoeing round its constantly varied assaults. Rarely, it is caught off guard, allowing moments of safe passage, but only rarely. You strive to differentiate the monster from its host. This sadistic malady residing in the body of the person you pledged to love in sickness and in health never being naive enough to imagine that sickness would not arrive some day, but shocked by the presumptuous power it started wielding within your lover's anatomy only nine years after the for better or for worse vows you took. You refuse your spouse's plea to leave her so that you may have the chance to live. Instead, you choose to forsake all others, taking your wedded wife the only way allowed you in sickness. The view from inside your beast-battered bride, astonishment, she did not choose the rest of her life sentence of this illness's invasion, but neither did you. Not only do you choose to love her, to have her, but you hold her. The unwilling domicile of this dream-dashing disease dragon. You the hate Ashbury his hippie who didn't believe in marriage, honoring your solemn promise, ensuring that your wedded wife knows without a shred of doubt that she is day after day cherished and loved by her wedded husband, by you. This is Candace Dickinson for Bedfest, for Believe Me, for Millions Missing, for ME Action, for the Open Medicine Foundation, for my mother Sylvia, who was a quadriplegic, and is my heroine. whom I was the sometimes unwilling caregiver, but who inspires me every day and makes me appreciate all the more the caregiving that my husband has needed to give me because of myalgic encephalomyelitis. Thank you.